In this video we have one problem. It states if x is equal to 2 tangent of theta, we want to express the sine of 2 theta as a function of x. Now you see these types of problems, at least this procedure, if you take calculus and you're working with integration, you'll be using a trig substitution and the procedure will be similar. But the key is going to be algebra to start off with. So let's label, create a reference triangle here. We'll label this angle here as theta. This is a right angle here, right triangle. And I'm going to label this as x, and this I'm going to label as 2. So you can see if I take the tangent of theta, it would be opposite over the adjacent. So I get tangent of theta is equal to x over 2. If I multiply both sides by 2, of course I get tangent of theta is equal to x. So let's complete this side over here. The hypotenuse would be, say, c. And we know that c squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides by the Pythagorean theorem. So that would be x squared plus 4. So if I take the square root here, and we're dealing with lengths, so we're one positive here, so it's a positive square root of x squared plus 4. So I'll just label this side as the square root of x squared plus 4. So now I want an expression for sine of 2 theta. One sine of 2 theta as a function of x. So I just say sine of 2 theta. Now here we're given theta tangent of theta is x over 2. So let's rewrite this in terms of just a single angle of theta. So sine of 2 theta, we have an identity that states that's the same thing as 2 sine of theta cosine of theta. Now all we have to do is represent this in terms of x, this in terms of x, from the triangle. So this will be 2, and let's look, sine theta, look at the triangle, sine theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so this will be x over the square root, x squared plus 4. And then for cosine, again from the triangle, cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, so this would be 2 over the square root. X squared plus 4. Now we just need to simplify. So let's multiply the numerators out. So we have 2 and 2. 2 times 2 is 4. The x, so that gives us a 4x there. Over, and it's the square root of x squared plus 4 times the square root of x squared plus 4. So that will give me the square root of x squared plus 4 squared, but that's just the square root of that is x squared plus 4. There we have it. Sine of 2 theta as a function of x is 4x over x squared plus 4. Like I said, you can do these this procedure in calculus when you do an integration. This is a, would be a trig substitution. A trig substitution in this particular case would be this. Here, though, it's just doing the algebra and the trigonometry that requires answering the problem or solving the problem that is the right sign of 2 theta as a function of x. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.